Alright, I need to check that last video. I might have left it running the entire time I was checking out the KOA. Um, basically, thought about stopping there. She says it doesn't get dark for another two hours. Oh, here's another RV park, Long Camp. Um, it was $32 for a tent, which isn't bad. Um, I just, I don't know, it was, I'd be the only one back there. And, I don't know if I want to just sit around and drink. I'm worried, about, I was worried about mosquitoes too, because there's this pond back there, and it looks stagnant to me. I mean, they had a aerator in the middle, but I don't think it was doing a very good job for the whole pond. And, yeah, I think we'll keep heading on toward Lewiston. And worst case, um, if you can't find something there, we'll just drive home in the dark, maybe. It was kind of, um, I was at the edge of the campground, too, it looked like, and I'm not sure who was living next to it, but it was kind of sketchy looking. Um, and I didn't want to pay, you know, 40, 50, 45, 50 dollars to get an RV spot. I mean, I've only paid 60 dollars the entire week. This is Kamaya. So we're going to end this video in Kamaya. Or let me think about that. I'm trying to think of... Yeah, I'm going to stop it and we'll see. Maybe I'll end the video, maybe I won't. But um, we will see. Hello. Um, possibly welcome back. This, we're in Kamaya, and I don't know if this is going to be the start of a new video or not. Um, driving toward Lewiston. So I just stopped. Oh, this looks like a neat town, Kamaya. It's a lot here. Um, I, most of it was down the street I had passed. But um, I stopped at the KOA in Clearwater just on the other side of the bridge and eh, it was not really up to standards of a KOA um, in my opinion and they wanted $32 to tin camp um, I just don't feel like paying that so Lewiston is in 60 miles and she said it doesn't get dark for another she said 8 o'clock. Um, oh my gosh. I'm waiting to what time is it? 6.10. Yeah, so I should be in Lewiston at 7.30. So... I think I'll check out the um, state park. If the state park has cell service and it's nice, I think I'll stay there. If not, I might just head home in the dark. big number yard there. They had a bunch of hollow wood they were they cut it looked like I wonder what they do with that. Wow this is very pretty. So basically the mountain the sun is behind the mountain and then there's smoke too. Otherwise it would be a lot brighter. I didn't realize white people live on the reservation or could. That just blows my mind. Like, I guess I'm pretty dumb not knowing that, but I did not know that. I gotta, I wanna look into that and see like how that works. Cause they have different um, rules on reservation land. 
kind of like living in Mexico, you know, they have different rules about owning stuff for non-Mexicans, non-native people. And I wonder how that works. looks really neat with the sun setting and the clouds and hopefully the camera picks it up in the video because I've had such boring sky that's another reason I didn't really want to stop I would have got a spot there probably. I'm so used to like averaging ten dollars a night camping now. I think thirty dollars is a lot. Whereas in the RV, you know, thirty, forty dollars is cheap. Because some places charge fifty or sixty. Surprisingly, I've been getting tons of sleep is why I think and I'm excited to get home My wife would be sleeping, but how surprised would my kitty be? <laughs> she wouldn't know what to do and I just unpack the inside of the truck and do the, the uh, rest of it later So many locks on that, no one's getting it. God, this river is amazing. I think it's a clear water river now. 
can't imagine it in the spring what it looks like. Oh, you know, well, no, as I say, maybe Clearwater was already a town. Could have been a town before, um, but I doubt it. I don't know when the reservation was created. So, yeah, it's very possible. Uh, I wasted 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, unfortunately. But I, I'm glad I looked at the campground because I have a, I got a feeling about it, and I think I would take the RV there if we ever came through. I just don't know if I'd ever take this road again. Honestly, it's, it's very slow and long. Might be a once in a lifetime road because I don't want to stop and do anything along it. Um, so remote you don't have cell phone coverage if you're driving or hiking and I just think of all the thousands of bears living there yeah this valley is amazing though so if this is the reservation this, is this a, this is a, oh, a U.S. highway, so the state takes care of it, I guess. That's the other thing I didn't understand, like, did the reservations do their own roads? Um, or did the states and the federal government help? I don't know how the reservations operate. I wish I did. good though I'm more excited to get home than drink beer <laughs> I would say that's I made the right decision that's a positive and I that's the other thing like I'm like if there are mosquitoes when it gets dark with that pond back there they had I would um I wouldn't have any fun sitting outside drinking beer <laughs> at all I just thought it was too depressing to sit back there and drink beer too it's tucked back in the corner and just ugh, it's kind of a weird little spot. the sunset. I don't, I find it hard to believe it's going to be dark in an hour and a half. It feels like it's going to be dark in 45 minutes. Wow, this semi is going fast. up with it though. So that sign that said curves 99 miles, it's really 140 miles of curves like this.
I'm in Pacific time now. Pretty sure. are tucked in the corner. I, just, I would have just went in the woods behind me. Just worthless.
faster, I think, than this way, because you're not following the river most of the way, but I've never been this way. And like I said, I don't know if I'll come back through this way again.
going to start driving west soon. I hope we're out of the um, canyon then. Doesn't look like it. Welcome to Orofino. going to end this video. This is um, Orofino City Center Turn coming up. Um, thanks for watching.